Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you 50 plus tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 which is the latest phone in the Samsung's uh, Note lineup. So let's just start off from the tip number one which is how to take a screenshot. Now to take a quick screenshot all you need to do is just press the uh, power key and the home key on your Note 5 and in this way you'll take a screenshot and of course I'll make a separate video of um, you know there are two other ways actually to take a screenshot so you can check that video out uh, will be uploaded on my channel so uh, the second thing here is the custom icons now when you pull the S uh, pen here uh, it's gonna give you this uh, air command now actually you can add uh, the custom shortcuts here or custom applications you can add up to two applications here so uh, I like to use calculator a lot so I'm just gonna click on it and it, there, there you go and I also use uh, like Facebook a lot so I'm just gonna have those here so if I go back and you can see now I got the Facebook application logo and also the calculator logo which I can just clearly launch in and do my stuff so that's how you add the custom uh, shortcuts now the another uh, uh, feature that I want to show you here the another tip here is that a uh, how to remove the uh, floating icon here uh, this floating icon for example if you pull the S Pen out and you can see that this thing here just keeps uh, uh, you know just just keeps uh, um, uh, visible here so uh, if you are being annoyed by this uh, you can actually hide it or remove it so you have to click on it and go into settings and once you are in settings you can all you need to do is just you have to uh, turn off this uh, option and there you go now you don't have that icon uh, now I personally do want it there uh, but of course if you uh, don't like it you can disable it and then of course uh, if you want the air command menu to come up you just have to uh, press this button on the on this um, S Pen and it will give you this option so uh, moving to the um, to the fourth tip uh, fourth tip of this video uh, which is the quick uh, notification shortcut edit now basically uh, if you go here into the notification panel of your phone of your Galaxy Note 5, you'll see there are a lot of um, there are a lot of lot of uh, quick uh, shortcuts to different stuff. Now, by default, there is no shortcut uh, for the uh, for the torch. So to add it, you just have to click here, edit, and you can add the different shortcuts there. For example, if I want uh, the ultra power saving, I can have it there. I can have you know lots of shortcuts there, and I can even replace them. So, you know, just put someone back there. So uh, that's uh, really easy to edit the notification uh, parts. Now, uh, the another tip for you guys is if you are on the home screen and if you don't like the uh, grid or the settings of the icon, you can just hold down the screen and the Galaxy Note 5 will give you uh, a new option here which is called a screen grid. I'm not sure that if it's available on uh, the Note 4 because, uh, because my Note 4 the last time I remembered and it had this op it had this option so currently my note 4 is water damaged so uh, it's not working anymore the way it used to but but anyways this is the screen grid option where you can have uh, this uh, grid change of applications like 5x5 five five. Uh, you can add more applications 4x5 four or 4x4 four four for less applications so yeah that's a pretty nice way to change the layout and all that to have more applications like this uh, for this wider display so 5x5 five five actually looks really awesome uh, the next thing that I want to show you guys is that if you hold down the screen you can quickly access the theme engine or theme store uh, from here you can uh, download more themes um, there are a lot of themes available uh, for example if I connect to the Wi-Fi connection here and if I just go into the store agree and you can see that uh, there are a ton of themes this is actually one of my favorite theme material design you just have to click it and download it is just about 1.3 MB so it's download in progress so here we go uh, actually I need to sign in so uh, it's like a more busy procedure so I'll do that some of the time but you can see that this theme engine you can instantly access it and you can apply different themes here download them and click them and apply them like this it's already applied so that's pretty nice now moving to the um, next uh, next uh, step for you guys next tip actually is if you go into settings and if you check out uh, the um, the application manager uh, uh, application manager here no, not the application manager. If you check out this top 
uh, data usage option that is the first option here that we have if we go into this data usage option uh, we got a we got a quick button here called as more on the top right corner it actually shows you which application is taking the amount of data so if I click here into more it says the option of restrict networks now if I if if, if I want some application to not use the the network in the background I can have it so I just want to um, have this Wi-Fi. I use this Wi-Fi Zeta Care as the main Wi-Fi. So I, if I enable this, now the application uh, will not use th uh, this network um, to, you know, uh, trigger some things in, in that is happening in the background. This is really nice if you uh, want to have more uh, of performance, uh, increase the performance, you know, to restrict the network usage and all that. Um, and, of course, uh, let's move to the uh, another tip, uh, which is the... Um, which is the keyboard vibration. You can actually disable the keyboard vibration if you go into settings quickly, uh, sound and notification. And uh, here we got the vibration option and there is a dedicated option for keyboard vibration. You can uh, turn it on or turn it off if you turn it on it's really pain in the ass because it's you know, just vibrating, it's gonna take the battery. So I suggest you should turn it off. Uh, now let's just move to the another tip is uh, which is of course really nice for conserving the battery of the Note 5. Of course it has a quad HD display and now it has uh, more smaller batteries. So if you want to increase more battery, so uh, what you need to do is you need to go into sound and notification uh, in the settings and then turn this option off LED indicator. Now what this will do is that it's going to turn off the LED when you are charging the phone or when the battery is low. So it's going to give you a little bit more battery because of course the LED is you know using the battery eating off the, the battery so yeah that's also a good tip there uh, another tip for you guys is the uh, is the screen off menu uh, option uh, feature that we have with this phone now if I go back into the settings if I check out the S Pen here now the S Pen will give you a really unique option it's called screen off memo actually uh, what this will allow you to do is that if your phone is locked like this and uh, and if your S Pen is you know inside of the phone like this so uh, if a phone is lying like this and you don't need to press any button or anything like that uh, if you click on this uh, uh, S Pen if you eject it like this uh, the phone will detect it like if I just completely remove it and there you go the screen is actually off but you can see that uh, it's giving me the pen the eraser and delete option so I can actually draw anything I want to even with the lock screen and this is pretty nice because uh, this uh, also um, you know uh, conserve battery because uh, this is an AMOLED display the black color will going to conserve battery uh, you know the strong black color so with a black color you can actually do you know, stuff like that like, like this here, you can draw something, you can add someone's number um, or whatever, you can do crazy stuff and then you can also save it or remove it so when you s click save, it's gonna uh, quickly s uh, save it in the action memo in S Note. now that's a pretty nice feature to look forward to uh, now the next thing that I wanna show you here is uh, the um, this is another option with the S Pen uh, which if we go here so it is called as the S Pen power saving option. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom in here. So uh, it's gonna save the battery uh, while while disabling the detection of S Pen because uh, when uh, when your S Pen is detached, the the Note 5 will actually vibrate and kind of like create a sound. So uh, now if I eject my S Pen, the phone doesn't do anything so I mean it just open up the air command but of course it's not gonna have the vibration or alert so that's a pretty nice option again to increase the battery life I might do another video where I talk about increasing the battery life separately you know talking about in more detail but anyways I'm just gonna disable this option because of course I do like the phone to detect it you know this create a sense of uh, vibration all that I, I, it feels good so um, the next thing that I want to show you here is the handwriting mode which I really enjoy if you go into the messaging application or uh, anything that has to do with the keyboard uh, if I uh, move the S Pen here uh, more closer to this um, pad here you can see uh, I will I will get this uh, text text type of thing okay I'm not sure why it's not showing me now but it actually shows me if I do this. Okay. 
just gonna press the button I don't know why it's not showing me but there's actually this option that will allow you to do it to make it kind of like a sketch so I want to try it in the settings search option so I think I need to check out the S Pen's settings something is changed uh, but that is pretty awesome settings you know uh, S Pen alert okay direct pen input yeah okay this is the option uh, sorry about that I forgot to tell you that you need to go into S Pen and you need to check out this direct pen input option if you go here you need to turn it on and you can also turn the text edition on now what will uh, what it will do is that uh, if I check it out here uh, in the keyboard okay I'm just gonna go back into the quick message uh, now now you can see it shows me this blue uh, thingy now if I click here and uh, now I can enter the the message here the way I want to like for example like this hello like that hello uh, how are you sir oops uh, that was way too fast so hello how are you Sir, uh, Magnum, okay, Mr. McMahon, uh, let's see, Brock Lesnar, okay, break. So, of course, uh, for this to work pretty nice, you need to uh, have a little bit patience. So, let's do it again, Brock, Brock Lesnar. Here we go. So UFC. Oops. Uh, of course, you can do the backspace. UFC. So yeah, that's pretty nice. You can also check out the drawing mode here. You can do crazy stuff like this. So of course, you can save it. So yeah, that's the um, the handwriting mode. Now another thing that I want to show you is the user manual. Now if you don't like the actual user manual type thing that comes with the uh, with the phone itself, then you can actually uh, have a take have a look at the phone's internal settings here, uh, where we'll, where you get the option of user manual. This will take you to the website where you can check out different manuals. It's going to give you the guide of uh, different stuff. You can download it like key, key features and everything. And uh, now it's also going to give you the model number information. Now my Galaxy Note 5 is SMN920i, so uh, that's the version that we get. Uh, but anyways, you can check out settings and ton of stuff, and you can get the information of uh, all about all of your phone settings and all that. Now, uh, moving uh, towards uh, another tip is the uh, one-handed operation. This is uh, also by def by far the best one, of the best operations. I mean, uh, tip uh, tips there out there for this phone uh, because this is a 5.7 inch screen. It has a big a better screen to body ratio but still uh, the, uh, the some people have small hands so they want the uh, one handed operation so all you need to do is you need to uh, uh, kind of like uh, uh, triple tap this home key like this okay oops now you can see me but we're gonna do it one more time just gonna quickly triple tap this option actually it's 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 disabled so I need to go here uh, back into the display option and we got the one-handed operation and I need to uh, enable it now if I triple tap it quickly and this is our mini Galaxy Note 5 UI pretty awesome everything is just in this corner you can easily use with your thumb uh, no problem whatsoever now moving to the another tip for you guys which is the quick camera now just like the Galaxy S6 you can launch the quick camera by uh, by double tapping the home key it's gonna launch the quick camera uh, I'm just gonna return to full screen and of course I'm gonna switch to back camera so that you can't see my uh, face so uh, that's how you go into the quick camera you can also disable it by going into settings uh, here we got the settings and you just have to disable this option and now your phone will not gonna go into the uh, the the <laughs> quick camera mode so the next tip for you guys is how to disable uh, the full connectivity of the phone you know the Wi-Fi and everything so so for that you can go into settings and there is actually a, a mode here which is called as the flight mode or airplane mode 
uh, there's like two different names. So this mode will disable um, all the calling and messaging functions and it's going to turn off mobile data. And Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will also be turned off. But of course, if you want to turn them on, you can turn them on in the settings. So it's just going to turn it on and everything will be disabled. It's pretty easy and it's pretty uh, good f uh, for increase the... Um, the battery life of the phone and of course if you want to um, uh, have like fast charging like really really fast charging of your phone if you want to do that you can enable uh, the flight mode and then plug in the connector and it's gonna charge way way faster it's already charged faster it has fast charging enabled but um, this is al also a good way to charge on phones that doesn't have the fast charging ability like the older phone especially like the iPhone 4 and the 4s so that's just information for you guys uh, let's just move towards another tip which is actually the tethering option now uh, the best uh, one of the best option here is including the tethering is as has like Bluetooth tethering uh, which you can uh, share by which you can share your internet connection using the Bluetooth so uh, it's gonna turn it on so ready to share device internet connection using that and you can also do the mobile hotspot uh, which is also the feature that you, you, have, you have used in the past and USB tethering is also the good feature now Bluetooth tethering is really awesome now if we move forward to the next tip which is the NFC processing changing you know you can actually change the NFC uh, uh, in uh, processing in the more option here first you need to enable it uh, or of course you can do it without enabling it so if I go into advanced setting you can see it says that uh, some uh, that the default NFC processing method uh, is the auto of course is some in some uh, situations you need to change that so you can change it to Android operating system uh, you can also change it to the embedded secure element or SE SIM card um, so I'm just gonna keep it on auto but yeah in some time if, if you really into that uh, you this is a, a good thing to know that you can change that uh, let's move towards the next tip, which is the motion and gesture, uh, where you can enable all the motions like uh, uh, doing hover controls and smart eye, smart stay, uh, you know, all, all the tons ton of features that this phone has. Uh, so direct call, which is a pretty awesome feature, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's going to allow you to have like, um, um, like if you uh, attend the message and all that, the device will uh, keep the screen on and all, uh, something like that. <laughs> also got the smart alert, palm to swipe to capture the uh, screenshot, which is also a pretty nice way to take the screenshot like this. Uh, one of the coolest way to do, to show off also. Uh, that's the feature that actually debuted in the Galaxy S3 maybe. Uh, but anyways, that was a pretty nice option to check out the motion and gesture. Uh, moving towards the next tip, which is the uh, regarding to the applications now if I scroll down uh, okay if I scroll up a little bit uh, we'll get the option of applications here uh, okay where it is more connection settings no okay sound display yeah here we go we got the application option now here you can actually uh, change the default application for your phone uh, for example uh, my default uh, default application for you know downloading some things is um, is for example for using the uh, launcher I got the touch with home so if I want to just clear it I just want to clear it like this and if I press the home key now it's going to give me two options uh, to use it as a touch with easy home or touch with home if I click on it is going to give me the uh, access and of course if I press the home key again uh, you can see it's going to kind of like set a default thing here touch with home so that is pretty awesome uh, that you can have default applications you can also add browsers like Google Chrome and clear the Samsung default browser if you don't want to use it um, also you can also check out the application manager to check out different applications there to uninstall them and all that uh, let's move to the next uh, tip which is the wallpaper motion effect which is enabled by default you can disable it uh, by going into wallpaper option and here we have it you can disable it and it kind of like it's going to increase the battery life a little bit more so it's kind of increase the it's just create a, a parallax or moving effect there so that's also nice now if we move towards the next tip which is the screen mode uh, so if I check out the display option here it's going to go into the um, the display uh, you can actually change the uh, the 
screen mode. The screen modes range from adaptive to basic. You can also have it on AMOLED, cinema, and photo. So, uh, of course, that is pretty nice. Uh, now, another tip for you guys is how to change the font here. Uh, if you go into font option in the display, you can actually change the font from different hair, cool fonts. You can also download more fonts and you can increase the size of the font. Uh, main text will look like this kind of like give you a preview so it is pretty easy to do that and we also do get smart say option here which is uh, not there uh, in the motion sensor stuff like that so you can enable the smart say from here uh, let's move towards the another tip uh, which is actually the uh, in the lock screen uh, which is going to go into the um, the lock screen and security option and now here we got the screen lock type option which is uh, we got plenty of screen locks like all the other Android phones like swipe pattern pin and password so the thing good here is the fingerprint which is the unique stuff so I'm gonna enter my thumb here actually I'm just gonna place my thumb into a home key here and just gonna do it a couple of times till it reaches to the um, to 100% so move your finger slightly between the temps so just gonna move my finger okay like this again okay move your finger slightly between attempts uh, I mean okay I don't know like this so you have to do it until it reaches the hundred percent value okay almost there here we go so it says success now uh, it, it's gonna ask you to enter the um, the passcode if in case your thumb gets cut off in an accident or something like that happens so I'm just gonna enter the pass password whatever so uh, here we go it's gonna click done uh, it's, it's it says that it's contained at least one number so I'm going to have the number 9 so continue confirm backup password so enter it one more time to secure everything up this is pretty nice because actually uh, you know uh, this is an easy way to when you're using the phone in front of your friends you just have to um, uh, place your finger here you don't have to worry about uh, them seeing your pattern or passcode or anything like that so you can uh, have this option like notification on lock screen you can hide content or show content or do not show notification at all so done uh, that's also a great thing to protect your phone now the next tip for you guys is the owner's info now if you want if you want the information on to come on the lock screen so all you need to do, uh, do go uh, all you need to do is need to go into settings then the lock screen and setting option and go into owner uh, and, and go into this tab here which is called as show information and quickly go into owner information I got my name here so just gonna click done and when I lock the phone and press the home key uh, it says my name here so it's, it's, it looks pretty cool and of course I need to use the finger scanner um, also let's move to the another tip which is the um, a deal clock which you can also uh, disable here that's also pretty nice so if I go here into show information I just gonna uh, disable it so it's not gonna show the local and home time zone at uh, times when roaming so that's gonna it's pretty easy uh, to do it it's, uh, and it might can increase the battery a little bit because uh, you know it, it takes uh, two different clocks to show time and all that uh, let's move towards another um, uh, tip for you guys which is actually uh, the notification uh, which uh, which we saw uh, previously but you can also edit here if you go into notification um, you can you can this, these were the basic stuff you can actually uh, customize different application like if I don't want the uh, any notification from the calculator so I'm just gonna turn it off so uh, the notification will not appear on the lock screen or if you want the notification to appear on the lock screen from for, uh, for by all the apps you're just gonna have it on the all apps option uh, now I'm just gonna move here to the um, another option which is a pretty awesome thing if I go here into fingerprints uh, I'm just gonna enter my finger thumb here whatever so uh, I can add more finger but that's not the thing that I want to show you uh, is that I want to show you the web sign-in you can actually enable it to sign into different website by 
using your fingerprint scanner that's pretty nice and you can also have this option to verify your samsung account of course i'm going to enter it later so that's also a pretty nice option that is there now uh, another tip for you guys is uh, the, um, the, 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 the find my mobile uh, if you enable it I, I haven't entered the account you can enter the account and sign up and all that if your device get lost it's gonna have like you know it's gonna trace it and something like that will happen so it's really e easy and it's you know kind of similar to the uh, to the um, to the Sam uh, to the Apple's find my uh, iPhone thing so so the next tip for you guys is you can actually stop Google from you know checking your usage data or you know anything like that so if you just go into the other security settings and scroll down to usage data access uh, there are actually two f uh, applications on your phone that can access the data smart manager is a nice application but if you don't want the Google Play services you can just disable it and it might can increase RAM or something like that but yeah that, uh, that's the option that's very hidden notification access in other security settings you can do that uh, then also uh, another tip for you guys is you can all uh, you can actually disable the security reports that are sent via Wi-Fi to Samsung uh, uh, automatically so I think you can also do that in the startup but of course if uh, it's enabled by default you can do it by going into lock screen and security settings and other security settings and here we got the option for uh, send security reports I have disabled it and another tip for you guys which is also here is that you can actually uh, hide your password uh, which is here make password visible you can turn it on and uh, and of course if you um, and uh, if you just want to uh, make them visible you turn it on if you don't want them you just have to turn it off so uh, let's move towards uh, the um, uh, the the uh, secure, uh, the protecting your device from security threat uh, which is the option here if you go into the settings then lock screen and security and then we've got the option of device security uh, which will uh, use the Knox of course I don't have the Knox app uh, but if you install the Knox app it's going to uh, create a secure and isolated space on the device in which you can do your work so your device uh, will not be vulnerable vul vulnerable to threats so oh, let's just gonna go back here and you can also do the scanning of the device just gonna found uh, it's gonna see uh, everything in app and every application that if any uh, anything funny is installed or something like that so it's gonna go back here uh, it's gonna say secured if anything is uh, if everything everything is okay now if you uh, if you are someone who do uh, do piracy if you uh, uh, install application from other sources than Play Store then you actually install them by going into the lock screen settings lock screen and security and there's an option called as the unknown source if you enable it it's going to install the installation of apps from sources other than the Play Store so that's also a uh, uh, the useful uh, useful um, feature there to install application other than uh, from other sources than Play Store. Uh, let's move towards uh, the um, uh, the uh, very nice tip for you guys that most of the people don't know. So I'm just gonna power my phone off here. It's gonna take a little while. So I'm gonna teach you how to enter the download mode on your Galaxy Note 5. You need to hold down the power, home, and the volume down key for a couple of seconds, and here we go now this is how the download mode, mode looks like don't just freak out uh, this is used for uh, in order to install the software uh, using Auden and also for rooting the phone if you want to go into the download mode just hit continue and if you don't want to go into download mode just hit cancel and restart that's how you go into the download mode okay and now the next tip that I want to show you guys is pretty similar to this one so I'm just gonna wait for the device to boot up okay so uh, what I'm gonna do here is that um, I'm just gonna enter my fingers fingerprint sensor here I'm gonna turn my device off again 
and when I turn my de device off again for the second time, I'm gonna show you how to enter the recovery mode. So th that's pretty uh, uh, handy thing because of course if your Note 5 is kind of like uh, stuck somewhere and if you want to do the, f uh, do the factory reset, so all you need to do is hold down the volume down. I want them up this time and the, vo uh, and the power key and the home key at the same time like this and your device will boot up in recovery if it's installed. Uh, I think the default recovery is installed and as you can see uh, installing system update um, what the hell is there any update available or anything like that uh, but in this way uh, by holding down the volume up the home key and the power key at the same time will give you an access to the recovery mode from where you can perform uh, factory data reset you can also perform um, like you can wipe the cache key and things like that Okay, so it says no command. Now, here we go, that's how it looks like. Uh, reboot system now, if you wanna just turn on your phone, uh, apply update from ADB, apply update from external storage, and wipe data factory reset, wipe cache uh, partition. So it's just a recovery, you can check that out. It's pretty amazing thing. Uh, don't just freak out, uh, newbies. So just gonna reboot my system again. Next off is when you go into settings and you click here on more connection settings, you can actually uh, change the default uh, messaging applications um, here uh, you can ch ch set it on the message or hangouts if you like this one so uh, I personally like the default application uh, that uh, that is uh, on the Samsung phones which is the Samsung's default messaging application here messages so uh, another thing here is the download booster so of course I don't have this uh, quick shortcut of the download booster here you can see that and if I click at on the edit option um, I still don't get the download booster option so uh, you gotta find it here so it's available in the connection settings uh, more connection settings uh, so you can check out this you can enable it and if you have your sim card your LTE and Wi-Fi enabled and at the same time you download the application it's gonna use both networks uh, and uh, you know to combine the speed and it's gonna give you 30% more faster downloads and something like that but yeah the download booster option is here uh, the next thing here is the printing which is also available in this option uh, which is basically if you wanna add different plugins if you have a printer uh, that you wanna add here for which you can use uh, like HP uh, their plugin can be downloaded and you can also use that uh, this uh, uh, in with the printer printer to print the documents uh, let's just move to the uh, next uh, tip for you which is actually here in the accessibility uh, which is the direction lock now you can set different direction locks uh, for your phone uh, of course I have my fingerprint sensor enabled so uh, with the direction lock is that it, it, you can set different direction by swiping to different uh, directions here like if I do it on the right left up down uh, this way this way you know six total of eight so if you continue it's gonna uh, it's gonna ask for uh, you to again confirm it so uh, of course uh, I don't really need it but but of course if you don't want to have the fingerprint sensor enabled uh, then you can try this option now direction lock is, is, is a pretty a uh, nice option uh, for more security so uh, and let's just move to the next uh, tip for you is basically a single tap mode uh, which if enabled uh, it, you just have to tap a single time to you know dismiss uh, the calendar event or uh, or ring alerts uh, or maybe even a even an incoming call that's pretty nice uh, uh, the next tip for you guys uh, is basically in the uh, about section now when you're in about section on an android phone is it, it's gonna work on on any Android phone, you, you, if you go into software information, if you tap on build number a couple of times, it's, it says that you are a developer. Now, in developer options, you can do a lot of stuff, like uh, you know, uh, have this option: stay awake, screen will be awake uh, while charging, and OEM unlock, which is a really nice option. Of course, in the future, if I, I want to have some ROMs on it, then I need to have this option enabled. So. Uh, yeah, developer options can unlock a lot of um, um, options, and uh, and so let's just move towards the uh, next tip, which is the 
you regarding the uh, touchface UI. So of course, if you if you are not familiar with this UI, if, if this looks a little bit difficult to use, you can go into settings and then you can click here on the easy mode uh, and just have it here, and it's gonna have like an easy um, UI. So. Uh, like the basic obligations will be on the front so it will be more and more good for people who are not into Samsung phones so of course I'm gonna have it on the standard mode but let's just check it here if I click done and there you go this is how the Samsung's uh, UI will look like in the easy mode now I'm just gonna have it on the uh, on back on the standard mode so I'm just gonna go back and have it on standard and here we go it's done now the next tip for you guys is 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 basically if you do this and if you scroll here this is by default enable which is the flipboard briefing and uh, that basically annoys me and uh, uh, and I want to disable it so I will just do this I like bring up the screen by doing this uh, gesture and just uh, untick this option like this and now it's not there so uh, it it will help me to somehow uh, increase the battery and you know things like that so um, of course so let's just check out the settings here and if we go into the accessibility again uh, we got pretty awesome options to check out uh, for example if we go into vision uh, you can also have the voice assistant turn on here uh, which I will not turn on because uh, it, it can be uh, pretty um, you know uh, it, it, this option is basically for those people who are who are having like problem real real problem in every uh, aspects of the phone software so basically a voice assistant will going to help you in, in, in uh, every option like if you click on this arrow it's gonna say uh, do you want to go back and you know it, this arrow will allow you to go back and something like that so it's it's you know really uh, similar to the Apple's voiceover uh, if you are familiar with that uh, the next thing for you guys here is that uh, you can have the magnifying find gesture on uh, by triple tapping the screen like this and this way you can um, zoom in the screen you can use two fingers to swipe here and there so it's pretty awesome and to get back you just got to do the same thing again and you can turn it off uh, so it's pretty easy and pretty awesome feature for those people who have some problem with their eyes and all that uh, the next tip for you guys is that uh, if, even without enabling the power saving option you can have the grayscale option enabled which will allow you to increase more battery life and of course you can do the negative colors also uh, but grayscale is definitely a good option for increasing the battery life as also this option is available in a power saving um, um, you know menu so um, uh, speaking of the uh, power saving uh, you can actually enable a uh, enable the battery percentage here. This is a good tip because uh, you can uh, it's, it's, it's enabled by default, but you can disable it if you don't want to see it. But of course, you you do want to see it, so just have to enable it. Uh, here you can check out the power saving mode, which is a normal power saving mode. You can turn it on, and of course, uh, with this one you get a little bit more options here. And it's a nice tip that you can turn it on uh, on 20 percent. The device will by default turn it on, so it's pretty nice uh, let's move to the next tip which is the ultra power saving mode which I uh, don't have the option here by default you can have it if you click on the edit you can add the option there uh, but if you don't have it you can go into main setting to enable it and once it is enabled if you agree it's gonna increase the battery a lot it's really a good option if you uh, if you don't have the charger with you and you can also add some custom applications there uh, and click on more to disable it uh, it is a pretty damn awesome uh, Samsung feature that was first debuted on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, now, um, if I talk about another tip for you guys, uh, which is going to be in an application, uh, if I go here into the Smart Manager, uh, you can actually check out the uh, RAM. Uh, you know, not just RAM, you can check out a lot of different stuff. Uh, here uh, for example your storage your battery if your device is secure or not that's the same option that I reviewed before and uh, and the basic stuff uh, is there but if you go a little bit more detail and clean all option it's gonna clean uh, the cache memory and all that so uh, it will going to help you to increase your uh, uh, performance ultimately so that's pretty nice now uh, if I check out here into the main setting we got some little bit 
uh, different options here that if I go into the backup and reset backup and reset option which is here now uh, a lot of people don't really know uh, in this settings you can uh, back up your data to your Samsung account which is a nice uh, a nice tip and of course you can also restore from a previous uh, device like if you have a previous Samsung phone and then also you can back up your data uh, use uh, the application all that uh, with this option and factory data reset is also there you can also reset the settings now there's a pretty nice option here which is called as device maintenance in the device maintenance we got the auto restart if you enable it the device will restart uh, when the device is not in use the battery power is more than 30 percent and sim card lock is disabled and it's gonna restart to increase the performance uh, it's gonna silently increase the performance so uh, that's a pretty nice feature there you know most of the time when your device is like like this it's gonna just restart to increase uh, its performance uh, and that is pretty nice now in the privacy and uh, safety option uh, just like I told you before um, that you can actually turn off the uh, uh, report and diagnostic info here and of course SOS message option there uh, if you don't want to uh, information from your phone to be sent to Samsung uh, like previously we got a news that Samsung is using NFC chips to uh, to you know um, spy on your data that was a pretty joke uh, news but but anyways uh, that went viral so you can in, uh, disable it this is how Samsung can look at your data so you just have to disable it uh, it's basically regarded to software it's not gonna send your photos or or your your girlfriend's messages or something like that but uh, let's just move to the uh, another tip which is gonna be uh, in the private mode uh, if you confirm it basically you can uh, enable private mode on these applications so that a kid in your house can reach it uh, and of course uh, the next tip for you guys is basically in uh, this um, uh, this S Pen when you bring out the S Pen you can actually see a, a, a pretty nice option is called a screen right now basically what this option will allow you it's like a new advanced form of taking a screenshot it's gonna take a screenshot immediately and you can circle anything you want to like for example if you're using Facebook and if you want to make a quick memory if some someone is uh, someone had mistake uh, made a mistake of grammar or something like that you can take a screenshot screen right here and bring out your S Pen and just circle his uh, mistake and then post it on Facebook and everything like that and you can do crazy stuff with this um, you can also highlight uh, faces by taking screenshot of a photo that is pretty nice now uh, let's just check out um, a little bit more tips here in the camera now the Galaxy Note 5 the all new Galaxy Note 5 comes with the pro mode uh, if you uh, click on it, this pro mode will actually allow you to mess up with the ISO, um, uh, with other vivid options. You can also, uh, you can do ton of options, it's pretty similar to the LG Force manual mode, and uh, that is pretty nice. And of course, uh, you can take a virtual shot, you can do a live broadcast, um, and, and that's pretty awesome. And another tip for you guys is if you go here into the settings and then um, camera settings more, and then you can check out the video collage, you can make collage of videos for six seconds like if you're gonna call a video for six seconds gonna make collage so I'm just gonna show you uh, a collage that I basically made so I'm just gonna uh, show you here it's a pretty um, awesome one here you can see so you can see my foot there ha uh, so that, that's how you can do the video collage that is pretty awesome now uh, the final tip for you guys here is that if you go into the, um, the, 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 the the video mode and if you play a video for example this six second video if I play it and if I go back here if I click on this pop-up uh, button here what it's gonna do is gonna make a pop-up video and I can use my phone uh, with this multitasking so of course it's just a six second video but you can do it with bigger videos like one hour videos you recorded you can do that pop-up feature you can use different messaging and other stuff without any problem and actually got one more tip for you is that if you uh, double tap this feature here uh, okay not double tap if you are using gallery and if you hold down this button it's gonna enable a dual window mode uh, like for example you can use a different application in just one display like I want to use the video mode now you can see I can use the video as well as uh, the gallery here so that's how it works and I can just re reframe it and you know resize it whatever I, I want to 
in different ways. So yeah, uh, those were 50 plus tips and tricks for uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. I will continue to make this, uh, these type of videos for other Samsung phones, uh, like I have my Galaxy uh, J5, J7 coming pretty soon, and the A8. So the video for those will be coming uh, this week. So make sure you subscribe, support me, and like my videos. It really do helps me out a lot. So yeah, I'll see you.